right, uh, welcome to today's session with Tegris Consulting. My name is Jarrett Donaldson and I'm a consultant here on the team. And what I'm going to show you how to do today, really basically, is how to rearrange and uh, read, assign, or distribute your licenses um, in SAP Business One when it comes to if you're storing it uh, on premise uh, with the SQL database. And so you come in here and it's actually under administration. You'll find a folder called licenses and license administration. And it will pull you up a little window here and show you all the licenses that you have available. So you can come in here under components and select one by one. So let's say you want to have professional licenses. So it shows that I have a total number of one. I have zero available. You know, and you can go to this kind of a view and see a list of all your users and who has what assigned. So I only have on my license file one professional user, that's all. So usually you'll see professionals, limiteds, and whatnot over here in a list of all the ones you have. But if you need to change things around, you do it on the allocation tab. So you can simply go down here and click on the employee you're looking for, so mine's manager, and it will show you which ones you used for them. So I have a professional license. And so if I wanted to take a license off, and this will show you what type of license it is. This is your SAP. You can have add-ons and whatnot and add them here. But if you uncheck one, you'll see that the number automatically increases here and creates one more available. Um, or you can add, you know, select it, and then uh, it will reduce it. And the same thing with professionals. And I don't think it will allow me to deselect because I'm the only one here. Uh, but if you did, you'd allow it to deselect. This would create one. And then if you went to another user, you know, if you went to Keith, you could then come in here and then add the extra one you had available to him by clicking here, and you'll see it reduce it by that amount. And you can save it, so you can rearrange who has what. Um, a, a key thing to know, though, is all of my users are black. We can see under Manager, it's grayed out. Let me pull down here. If you have a user that you're trying to change it, let's say, you know, Emily, you're trying to change her user, and it was grayed out instead of being able to be selected here and have boxes to select on, it's like they'll be grayed out and won't allow you to make any changes. The thing to know is if you're going to make a change to someone's license, you need to make sure that they're logged out of the system before you actually do that. So if that's the case, go find them, ask them to log out, go ahead and make the change, and then uh, go ahead and let them log back in. But you know that's just the basics right now of how to change and move around licenses. If you have add-ons as well, Sometimes they'll be down here in this section where you can add and assign licenses, um, but oft times the add-ons will have their own module on its own to add licenses and and uh, move them around. So you'll have to you know consult with the the add-on itself to find how to do that. But that concludes our demonstration for today. Thank you for tuning in, and please take a look at our other videos for more tips and tricks on using SAP Business One.